Use this one. Yeah, that's fine. Let's have you stand facing this way. That way they can see what's going on. Okay, so you ready? Just resist. Hold up. Go ahead and say my name is James. My name is James. He says his name is James. If I press down on his arm, he's nice and strong. And say my name is Bob. My name is Bob. Okay. His name is Bob. And this is, this is just how we... See, when you go to work on somebody, it's a good idea to know what it feels like for them to be giving you a yes or a no, right? And so that's why we do that. So let's ask, uh, do you still have a heart wall? Uh -huh. Can we clear an emotion from your heart wall right now? Yes, we can. Okay, this emotion, is it listed in our chart here in column A? No. So it's in column B. Is it in one of the odd rows? Yes. Is it in row one? Yes. Is it effort unreceived? No. Is it heartache? Is that what it is? Try that again. Is it heartache? No. Is it insecurity? Is that what it is? Uh -uh. Is it overjoy? That's like from winning the lotto and getting imbalanced that way. Is that what it is? No. Is it vulnerability? I think it, I think that's vulnerability. Is that what it is? Vulnerability? Yep. It's vulnerability. Now, sometimes the next question is, do we need to know more about this? Because sometimes the subconscious mind will have something else it'll want brought to conscious awareness before it will allow the emotion to be released. So let's ask, um, do we need to know more about this emotion of vulnerability? Now his body says yes. So what we do is we figure out the age usually. How old are you right now? 41. He's 41. Let's divide his life in half. Did this occur earlier than age 20? Yes, I think it did. Try again. Did it occur earlier than 20? Yep. Earlier than 20. Did it occur earlier than 10? Yes. Did it occur earlier than 5? Yes. Earlier than birth? Ooh, earlier than birth. Now, if, you, if you're tracing down an emotion and it occurred earlier than birth, when could it have happened? Trimester. Okay. Trimester. Could be. Could be in the womb. Yeah, let's ask. Did you pick this up in the womb? Yes, he did. Now, if you want to, you can divide it up into trimesters. Did this occur in the first trimester? No. Did it occur in the second trimester? No. In the third trimester then? Yep. Bingo. Now, next question is, do we need to know more about this? Do we need to know more about this? And we do. Now, when you find an emotion like this that was picked up in the womb, oftentimes uh, that emotion will be whose emotion? Mom. Mom. Usually it's mom's. Not always, but usually. So was this your mother's emotion? Sure was. It was her emotion. Does that make sense? With Do you know anything about what was going on with your mom when she was carrying you? Yeah, I don't know what trimester it was, but while she was pregnant with me, she left my dad because she was abusive. And she took off to her parents' house in Lake Havasu and then had me and I was adopted at three weeks old. So she was being physically abused while she was carrying you, is that right? Yes. Okay, so hence the emotional vulnerability. So now do we need to know any more about this? And now his body, his computer system says no. Now we've brought everything to conscious awareness that we need to. Now we can release it. So face that way. This is part of his heart wall. See? Let's release this. And it just takes three swipes, right? We'll give him just an extra one there for the road. Face this way. Okay. Now let's ask, did we release that trapped emotion of vulnerability from all those years ago. Yeah, we did. Now let's ask, do you have a heart wall still? Yeah. Let's see if we can clear another one. Now, the next thing that I'm going to show you guys is how you can do self-testing. And then uh, we've got about a half hour left, so you can practice that a little bit. But basically with self-testing, what you do is rather than holding your arm out and then pulling down on your own arm, you could do that, but you can actually do it on your hands. Okay. So I'll show you a couple of ways that you can do it on your hands. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to stand here. The body has an energy field that extends out about 12 feet in diameter. And so if I'm standing anywhere in his vicinity and I ask questions of his subconscious, his arm would be strong for yes, weak for no. But if I test myself, if I'm in his proximity, I'll be strong for yes or weak for no. All right? So... I'm going to ask about this. If you have another heart wall emotion, we can release. And on me, that's strong. And is the emotion in column A this time, that's weak. So it's in column B this time. Is it in one of the odd rows? No. That's weak. So is it in row 2 in column B or row 4? It's in row 4, column B. So is the emotion depression or frustration? Is it indecisiveness or panic or taken for granted? It isn't any of those, which means it's what? Inherited. Inherited. Now, do you see how much faster it is if you're testing yourself? 
It's really lickety split. When you get the self testing down, that's really what you want to do. So, um, this is inherited. Did you get this from your mother? No, it came from dad. Now, uh, is it depression that's inherited or frustration, indecisiveness or panic? It's an emotion of panic that he got from his biological father at conception. Now, did your dad get this from somebody earlier? No. Now, I can verify this on him. Okay? Oh, we'll use this arm, sorry. Okay? So, uh, do you have an inherited emotion of panic that you got from your, from your dad? Yes. And do we need to know any more about this? And the answer is no, see that? So it's the same answer, it's just faster on yourself. So face that way, and let's release this one. How many swipes for this one, guys? 10, right? There we go. All right, let's see. So hold that arm straight out. Now let's ask, just, did we release that emotion? We did, okay? So now let's ask, um, do you still have a heart wall? Do you have a heart wall? Yep. Can we release another emotion from it? Yeah. Let's do another one. You ready? Relax. It's okay. Well, we'll do this one and then see. Sometimes, uh, it used to be that it would take me three sessions of releasing about eight to ten emotions at a time, and that's about how many the body can release in one session. But over the last few years, I've noticed that those numbers have gone down, and a lot of the time, uh, the heart walls just aren't made of as many emotions. And now, I don't know if other people, Emmanuel, are you finding that same kind of phenomenon? Is it taking you as long? No, it's taking less. Yeah, it's taking less time to clear these. So things are accelerating, see? So, um, okay, this next emotion, can we clear another one? Yes, is it in column A? No, this is in column B. Is it in one of the odd rows? Even row in two and four and six. So is the emotion pride? No, shame, shock, unworthy. Worthless. None of those. It's inherited. Is it inherited pride or shame, shock, unworthy? It's inherited unworthy. Did you get it from your father? No, it came from mom. Did she get it from somebody earlier? Yeah. From her mom, from her dad. So this is his mom, dad. Did he get it from somebody earlier? No. So it came from your mother's father. Do we need to know more about this? We don't. Let's release it. So you see how fast this can be when you're doing it on your own skin, on your own muscles? It's really fast paced that way. It can go really quick. Eleven? Oh, man. All right, Amy. Amy's counting. Ready? All right. So just resist. Do we release that emotion? Yes, we did. All right. Do you still have a heart wall? Well, look at that. Now, sometimes, okay, sometimes a person will have a heart wall, and there might be another little layer of that wall that's what we call hidden, okay? This kind of hiding in there. So we use the word hidden. Do, uh, do you have a hidden heart wall? No. Now, I think this is going to change everything for you. I think it's really going to make a huge difference for you. So, you know, you can keep me posted. Let me know. You can tell Michelle, right? I know how to get a hold of them. She knows how to get a hold of me. She knows where I sleep. She knows where you sleep. All right. There you go. Okay, here we go. All right, here we go.